Hello and welcome back to Arcadia, where there is absolutely never, ever, ever a dull moment. I have been on and off past week, and I've got a couple of clips that I want to show you. So Zunti just lost all her stuff. We're going to do a rescue mission. I was about to loot a, a mansion. No, not mansion. Yeah, the, the bastions. Thing. Yeah, and I flew against the wall with one heart left and no! died. Yeah, let's go. Hey! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh! Well, those were the days. Oh, I don't have gold either. Okay, okay, so we're just going to shoot them then. Pick them off. No. He got my armor on! Oh, that one has thorns. Or did you shoot me? Yeah, it's my armor. <gasps> I got the elytra guy. Oh, he also have thorns. My boots. Oh my god. There you go. Okay, got a whole bunch of your stuff. Oh. Hey, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> oh, bro, 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 bro. <gasps> he doesn't see you. He doesn't see you. Just run. Oh. Oh, okay, now you're... Oh, wait, no, it's fine, it's fine. Now I run. <gasps> oh, dude, this thing is strong. Oh. Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Three hearts, it's fine. Two and a half, it's fine. <laughs> There's one chest, I want that. <laughs> Aha, I did a thing. Be careful, be careful. Pick step! <gasps> you got a pick step? Yeah. Awesome. I hate bastions. Oh, yeah, I do too. It's why I never come here. <laughs> Can we go that up way. there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay. Right, right, right. That way, I think. Okay, I'll follow you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look behind you. Look. Okay. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Look behind you! There's <laughs> something on themselves of the thing. Oh my god. They're just coming more and more. There's a couple uh, down the lava stream there. <gasps> oh, run, run! I have to go. He was like, oh, we are angry at her. Okay, let's oh, go. Oh, is that what we're doing? Yeah, I get it. I... Careful, careful, careful. Yeah, I know these ones. Okay. They're, they're, they're fine though. Oh my. Because they are really only... If there's lava, there's only one block tall. So you can just jump up and place a block and you'll be fine. Yeah. It's not fun. You don't. You want to avoid it, but yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> too bad. Do you have a banjo? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> do, you, do you see me? I see you, I see you, I see you. <gasps> uh oh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, that's okay. Oh no, 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 pussy! Oh my god. I'm going please. to Please. No, please! <sighs> eat, 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 eat. So I don't know what is yours and what is mine, but take what you want. <laughs> it's all mine you, now. You, you can also have the pick step if you want. <gasps> Can I? Yeah. That would be amazing for my shop. Thank you, Percy. Yeah, well, uh, thank you for bringing me my stuff back. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of helped each other there. And thank you for the pig step disc. I really like that one. Don't worry. It's fine. I have one already. I'm blind. I'm absolutely blind. I was just walking in here with a shulker box and I put it down here and I and I opened it and then something fell off from an item frame. Then I noticed the sign from Zunti. I think she put an item frame up here with this disc in, which is brilliant. Now we have n another custom disc. Well, it's not a custom disc, but another one of the rare discs, right? Which is super epic. Thank you so much, Zunti, for both of these dis these discs. Whoosh. Do you remember this thing over here? This is Finders Keepers, a game that Wood and I signed up for over here, and it has officially started. The item has in fact been hidden, and I know that it is Silver who currently possesses it. And so I kind of want to snoop around her base and see what's going on. Looks like I've got fans. 
Now, Silver's base, how do I get there? It's up there. Wait, no, Silver's base is up here. This is Silver's base. I believe this is Silver's base. Let's go have a peek inside. I'm just snooping here. I'm just snooping. Obviously, it's not going to be super easy to spot. Currently, what I'm mostly looking for are little gaps in between blocks, right? Some blocks are not full blocks, so you can sort of get a peek in between. I truly am not seeing it, though. It might be in one of the trees, actually. Is there any way I can get on top of the roof here? Probably. Yes, there you go. Perfect. <gasps> There we go. There it is. Can I get it? All right. So now I need to make a note of the Minecraft day that it is, which I believe we cannot see right now. It says right about here, local day is 3,872. And now it is time for me to hide it. And I've already got a really good spot for it that I'm not sharing with you yet. It has been hidden in my base. It's already been found. Humble found it. This is where it was hidden, by the way. I thought it'd be a fun little challenge to make people... squiggle with anxiety. <laughs> make this whole thing look like a trap. It wasn't a trap. You could just walk over this. Absolutely no problem. You can hear some pistons, which might scare you, but no, no, no. Nothing happens, really. It was right over here. You could just grab it, take it, leave it. That was it. If you want to see how Humble reacted to this, definitely go check out his video. At the time of recording, it isn't out yet. Maybe when this video is out, it, his video isn't out yet. So I guess you should just subscribe to Humble and make sure that you don't miss it that way. Whoosh. Hello. Oh, hi. I'm looking to sell my disc. You're looking to sell your disc? All right, what do you have? Yeah, um, it's a relic disc. <gasps> oh, that's one of the new ones. They're really cool. Let's have a look at that one. Yeah. Oh. oh, well, it looks like that's still in a really good condition over there. Where'd you get it? I found that in the ruin. You found this in a ruin in, in this greater condition. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a yeah. listen, shall we? Let's put this one in. Oh, it's a little dusty. Yeah. Oh, but there it is. Good sound quality. Oh yeah, no, for, for for this kind of disc, it's absolutely brilliant. I really, really quite like it. Alright. Now, let's, let's take it back again. There you go. What sort of price were you sort of expecting for this disc? Um, I think like 15 diamonds would be nice. 15 diamonds? Okay, okay, that doesn't sound too bad. But you know, most of the discs here that you see, all of these, I'm selling them for one diamond each. Now, of course, mm -hmm. this is a very special disc. It comes away from yeah. the ruins, right? And so I think it'd be really beautiful on my special disc wall. So what do you say I take it for 10? Um, 14. 14? Okay, you know how to ask a steep point. Okay, how about we do 13 then? We kind of in the, in the middle there. 13 is fine for me. All right, let's do 13. Um, let me grab my uh, my cash here. Uh, there you go. And there's seven this. Well, thank you very much. Oh, look at that. Let's put it up immediately. There you go, relic. Oh, that looks really good. <laughs> I know, thank you. I'm so happy with this disc. Thank you so much. No problem. It's a pleasure doing business. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, currently not looking for any disc, as I still have one relic disc, so Ooh. I've got a box for myself as well at home. Alright, well, if you ever need anything music related, you know where to find me. Of course, I will. Well, good luck with the store, and <laughs> I'll get you. going then. You, you. Yo. Hey, that's kind of epic. We just made our first buy of a music disc, and look at that, we've got Relic now. But also I discovered that we have made some sales. We got nine diamonds here, that's kind of cool. And so overall, we're starting to get some business here, which is really great. Now, of course, this disc isn't going to stay on this wall forever. Eventually, I'm going to sell it for a profit, of course, because that's how stores operate. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't you agree? Is that not what we're supposed to do? We can fuel the economy here, Wood. We kind of have to have to make a profit here. Anyway, something else you may notice. Well, two things. Um, we have a street here now. I think Humble is working on setting up a road network for the shopping district. So I sort of continued what he was working on and I made it happen over here. The other thing is the, the jukebox is over here now. I have it so that I can quickly turn it on and off in the store. A bit like so. It does go flying everywhere, but that's why I've installed this hopper. I do want to get a trap door. So that's kind of awesome. We got a whole bunch of discs. Our music store that we built last episode is in full business. It's absolutely amazing. But now we've got to turn our attention to something else. So this shoreline over here was absolutely covered in sugarcane. Someone was using it as, as a farm. And I was like, well, um, why do we have a sugarcane farm over here? It's ugly. Why don't we use the automated sugarcane farm that I've built over there? Now, as you can see, I believe it's Sunti who cleaned it up, made it look a little bit nice. It's absolutely fantastic, but also Sunti made a really good point. Sorry, bro. I mean, look at the nether portal. And I think it's a solid point because if we look over at the nether portal over there, I mean, yeah, there's still tons of sugarcane here. So I kind of think we should take matters into our own hands. Wood is helping as well. We're going to make this look a little bit more pretty. What do you say? And there we go. It isn't a whole lot, but I figure just a tiny little tent over here housing the portal I think would be really really nice. The floor here matches the portal on the other side. Wait, actually let me show you. Look, this tunnel over here, the floor over on the other side matches the floor in this tunnel. I just sort of figured we are the campfire crew, we live in tents, let's just cover the portal with a tent and I, I think it's alright. If somebody hates it, feel free to change it. Whoosh. Alright, so I've been sitting here, right, at my dark, gently plucking on my banjo, and I just cannot let it go. The idea that I had the item, the finder's keeper's item, and it's gone now, I I can't stand it. So, you know, since Humble found it, it's been passed around to Tooth and to, I, I don't know who, a lot of people. Um, I happen to know it's back at Silver's again, you know, Silver, where we found it originally. I, 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 think, I think I'm just going to... Who hop over there and have another quick look-see. Now, something tells me it won't be as easy this time. It won't be as easy as it's just f hidden in a tree. Oh, is it actually deeper in the tree? Oh, this is where we found it originally, right, right here. Oh no, is this a tree maze? I'm stuck. Oh, this isn't good. I'm s actually stuck here. I only have one ender pro. I don't want to ruin the tree. Okay. We're just doing it like this. Where's the leaf? Oh, there. Uh, but for real, is it a tree maze? Oh no, now I'm all over these trees thinking it might be a tree maze. <laughs> Here's another entrance, looks like. Yeah, there we go. This is a dead end. Oh no, there's a tree maze here. This is going to be a little more time consuming than I thought. And it might not even be in here. Should I go check anything else first? That's probably a good idea. Okay, so I really haven't been able to find it anywhere else. And so I think it's going to be a tree maze. Oh, I think there's another entrance over here. But there's absolutely no way you can get there. Do I need to bring a trapdoor? Well, okay, th this doesn't work. <laughs> I'm again stuck. I mean, it's against the rules to break blocks, but if I'm stuck, right? I mean, right? I have no idea what to do here. Can I maybe spot it? Because I can see the path over here, right? Sort of through it. I'm going to try again. Oh, but now I can't place it anymore. This is so annoying. I don't know. I, I'm convinced I need to go in here. I need to be inside here, but I have no idea how. Maybe I look, need to look at it from the ground a little bit more. I'm absolutely not finding another entrance over here. 
So I've now resorted to just staring up at the leaves like this, hoping maybe I can spot a silhouette, but it's really difficult because it means I have to go past every single leaf block. And it's not even all that visible. There's another tree maze over here. Ooh, there's an opening over here, but how do I get in? Well, I'm down here now, but how do I get there? Can I place this? Nope. Oh, actually I can. Now I'll be stuck here, but at least I'm in. I haven't been to this bit yet. And yes, I am slightly losing my mind in here. What? There is absolutely... Where is it? And I'll bet it isn't even in one of the trees. Like, I'm really starting to question that now. <laughs> I'm actually losing my mind a little bit. But they've got... But they've got those weird mazes in, so what am I supposed to do? Oh boy, I am actually about to give up. And if you think about it, this isn't even that big an area. Why is it so difficult to find a stupid thing? But I'm not someone who gives up easily, and so I, I'm kind of stubborn. And every time I see tiny glimpses of blue, like over there, I'm like, oh, that's the thing. But it's not. Silver. Why do you hide your thing so well? Are there any secret trapdoors I have missed? Like, I am pretty confident it's not on the inside here. There aren't a lot of hiding spots. <gasps> I spotted it! It is down there! I've seen it! I've seen it! It is down there! It is in one of those mazes, but I can't get there. It is the one that I went... It's one of the very first ones that I went into, but I can't get... Okay, I need more trapdoors, I think. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna grab more trapdoors. I've got all the trapdoors. <laughs> Wait, where was it again? Oh, it's over there. It's over that one. <gasps> oh, silver. So sneaky. Now we need one over here. I saw it. It was over here. Where is it? Where is it? <gasps> oh, I'm so happy that took so long. I don't know how to get out, though. But I've got it. I'm going to break a few blocks to get out. I, I hope it's right. There we go. <laughs> I'm so happy. Look, there it is. <laughs> oh, I need to note the date real quick. <laughs> okay, I'm so happy. Now I need to hide it in my tiny little tent over here somewhere. Hopefully it doesn't get found as quickly as the last time. The item has been hidden. Again. Now I can go back to just picking on my banjo <laughs> and looking out over the river. Oh, looking out over the sunset, sort of. That's beautiful. But with that victory, and only at the cost of me losing my mind, I think this is it for today's episode. I hope that you've enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye!